Hey guys, welcome back to Black, White, and the Grays. My name is Kylie, and you're in my kitchen. I thought I'd show you a recipe that I am quite fond of, and it has taken me years to figure out and recreate. So it is smashed cucumbers, and they are so tasty and so good. But more than that for me, it is a nostalgia factor, because back in 2011, I lived in Guangzhou, China for about three to four months. And in that time, there was this little Szechuan Chinese restaurant. You'd walk out of our apartment building and you'd go down the road. Guangzhou is like a massive city. And there was a strip of restaurants. Guangzhou is a Cantonese city and Cantonese food is not known for its spices, which when I love Chinese food, I love spicy food, which is typically comes from the Szechuan province in China. And these are, this was the Szechuan, it was the closest little restaurant to us across the busy, busy street, which is like a four lane each way road. Wasn't a highway, just a city street. It was a McDonald's. Next to it were, um, down the street was a, where you could buy pirated movies and CDs, which I would never do. And um, when you're a poor, in China, I went with a group of people, which I'm actually not gonna tell you what they were on the internet, just for, uh, it sounds shady, but it really isn't. It's just, if you can put two and two together. We were there to be teaching English, also while sharing different aspects of beliefs. And I just don't wanna say it on the camera because we, we were trained when we went over there to write emails in different languages, not languages, but like different context you would share about different things going on in different contexts. If you were speaking on the camera or if you were writing a letter or an email, you had to, you had to be very discreet. And so I kind of still feel like I need to, and I think, why not? Anyway, the moral of the story is at this Szechuan restaurant, the menus had pictures. Oh, don't mind my wet hair. Later in this video, it'll be done and styled and it'll look completely different, but this is where I'm at right now. This is my lunch I'm preparing. A little late for lunch, but it is what it is. At this Szechuan restaurant, they had a picture menu. And if you're a foreigner in a country that you don't speak, it's very convenient if the menus have pictures because you can kind of see what it is. And Szechuan had Kung Pao chicken. It was the best Kung Pao chicken I have ever had in my life. But we learned how to, we were taught different words that we could remember. So like rice was mi fan, de bao is to go. And we pointed to the cucumbers and they looked good. So we tried them and we'd be like, point to the cucumbers on the menu and say mi fan, de bao. And we'd wait there and they'd give us some tea and we would just wait for a couple minutes while they went and got it. And the recipe I'm gonna link here is, it took me ages to find. I did not know what it was called. I was like, these cucumbers were marinated in some spicy, delicious oils and things. And for years, I would dream about this recipe and dream about these. And I was like, man, if I could just go back to China the first thing I would do is go back to this little hole in the wall restaurant and order these cucumbers because they were so good. And I would literally have dreams about them. And me and some of my other friends that went with us, I would, we would be like, oh man, have you found a recipe for those yet? For like, it's been since 2011. So how many years is that? My son, fun fact, was born in Oregon when I was in China. He was born into April and I was still in China in 2000. Adoption. I wasn't even married when my first kid was born. So, I would have been 21. And he's about to be 12. I can't even handle life. But the moral of the story is finally, finally, after years and years of searching, two years ago, saw a video on, I think it was Instagram, like the reels of somebody making smashed cucumbers. And I thought, oh my gosh, that looks like what I had in China all those years. And I would even ask like people at the Chinese restaurants, they were from Guangzhou in our local town and they were like, nope, don't know what you're talking about. It's because they weren't from Szechuan. If I would, and I've 
you need to go to a real authentic Szechuan Chinese restaurant and maybe yours has it nowhere that I know of does or do they make them as greasy and juicy as what I had. So the dish would be the rice would be hot and the cucumbers are cold and you'll see why in a second. I got my bowl and you kind of they're you can't even see what I'm doing. That didn't really help much. So I'm cho chopping them up and I'm cutting them in half and then just keeping them like this. And the recipe, it tells you to like cut them again. That is not how the cucumbers were in China when I had them. And essentially, you literally do what it tells you. You smash them. And they're kind of weird and delicious. Oop, that one broke, that's okay. And if there's any smaller chunks, I just throw them in the bowl. They'll be fine. This recipe calls for English cucumbers, and that may have been the case, but the, in China, they seemed like they were just regular old, really seedy cucumbers, like the big market cucumbers, the big, big fat cucumbers. So I typically like to, I prefer those, but I was at Costco, so I just got what they had. So let me just smash them up. And sometimes people just smash them. Well, sometimes you can just smash them in your bowl with like a glass or whatever, but I just do it this way. I'm gonna make a little extra because my sister has, I. they're probably not gonna be as good as what I've hyped them up to be over the last 10 years. No, sorry, 12 years. But it is what it is. When I was able to recreate this recipe, I was a bit emotional. I know, it's ridiculous, but if you have ever had food that you can't get again, whether it be from like a parent or grandparent that's no longer with us, or a country you traveled to, something, and you just can't recreate it, and years and years and years go by, and you finally taste that food again, it's special. For me to remember that flavor for that many years. Also, I'm growing a lot of these, a lot of cucumbers. I'm gonna focus on growing those in my high tunnel this year because it is such a staple. Um, having pickles, my sister bought some cucumbers from a local farmer and she's been making pickles and it's just, it's been so good. So I'm gonna get this chopped up and then I'll come back to you. All right, so all of my cukes, I'd use the Costco three pack of cucumbers. That they, I hate it that they put so much plastic around it. it. Bothers me greatly. Not only is it annoying to get your cucumber out, but it's just wasteful. All right, so I have this recipe on my phone. If you know me at all, I tend to not follow recipes, which I do for the most part on this one. But I have like doubled, tripled this recipe, and I'm gonna put the recipe down in the description. So we need a half a teaspoon. Hmm, that roughly. All right, this is salt. This is just, if you're using one, this is what you do. Two tablespoons, that's a lot of sugar. I'm not gonna be putting two tablespoons in here. I'm just gonna do one for now. It asks for cilantro. The one I had never had cilantro, so I just leave that out. And I think you're gonna be able to find a lot of these recipes around and you can do whatever you like one tablespoon of rice vinegar. So we're gonna do three of these. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's the rice vinegar is where it's at, man. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze midget more for good measure. I have toasted sesame oil. It says you could use spicy, which would be really good, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna use this. And before I started, I um, this spilt on my table and completely submerged my phone. Lovely. And this is something I do not like the flavor of, but within melds together and I do like it in this dish. Oh, I forgot the soy sauce. I buy bulk soy sauce, so I put it in this nifty little thing. It wants three tablespoons as well. Extra for good measure. I still remember the chunks of garlic that they had in this. This is our homegrown garlic going through our smaller things. Oh, and I have the chilies 
to, oh, my hands up before I forget. It's, I order this off Amazon. I cannot find it locally. It's, and it's pretty spicy. Well, not really spicy. It's all right. It's got lots of chilies and stuff. little extra good measure this is four garlic cloves for this recipe but um, these are little guys also it called for four cloves when it was just one recipe so we got a lot to go people I'll turn you back on once I get all this chopped up all right got all of the garlic we need peeled I will do a ton of garlic because it just, well, one, it's how I remember it, and two, oh, I need to grow so many cucumbers just for pickling, and we eat a ton of pickles in this household to have, to make this fresh in the summer, oh, with our fresh cucumbers, would be phenomenal. And you don't need to make these two little chunks just because... Some big chunks are good. You get a bite into one and oh, the flavor. Dee, 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 dee. The only thing that I had to order was that Szechuan. And if you lived in more of a populated area with better selection at the grocery store, or just, I have looked a lot of the grocery stores and can't find it in the bowl. In the bowl. I am not, I am a messy cook. I've told you this a thousand times. You'll hear it a thousand more. But I do make good food. Okay. So yeah. here it is. And now we're just going to stir it up. Oh, yes. My children are working on it. They're doing a stim lego electricity thing and they're above us in their room and i can hear it so if you can hear the doorbell ringing a thousand times it's them figuring out the doorbell scrape for they're figuring stuff out this brown red color you're seeing at the bottom of the bowl oh juicy and that's exactly what you want smells exactly the same so I'm I got a glimpse into the kitchen when I was there it was in just a giant barrel they must have just made them ahead of time they probably my suspicion is they just didn't change out the brine and they just kept adding cucumbers to it it's probably why it was so dang good so sometimes you can't help yourself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh the heat is there And you can't really tell if it needs anything added, which I doubt it will, because I can. it's pretty flavorful. And it'll basically just marinate. You want it to be, at least be in your fridge for a few hours and cover it up, let it meld together. Every once in a while, I'll go in and stir it up. And pretty soon, the cucumbers take on all of the marinade, and they just become darker colored themselves. Like, you can tell that this is a fresh one. And I'll show it to you in a few hours. What it looks like. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot wait. I'm gonna make myself a fresh batch of mifon, some rice, and uh, enjoy this in a little bit. A few hours, actually. Patience is a virtue, they say. They say. So it's been a day. I'm gonna show you my cuke, my cukes. Show you how this goes. I have a little bit of rice in my bowl. These have been, um, they have been aged quite a bit. And so we're down to this already. It also, the cucumbers get smaller, but it should look like this. It's delicious. And I'm just gonna pour it over and dump some into my rice. This would feel more legit if I had 
chopsticks, but here we are. And if you're wondering about the state of my kitchen, I'm rearranging my pantry. And that is how you make smashed cucumbers, Kylie style apparently.